What I do to deserve this? Why do I have to be locked away? It's like being in prison. Didn't do anything to deserve this. None of us did. And yet, and yet we have to be locked up. It's a lot like, it's a lot like Paul and Silas in Acts chapter 16. They're having a conflict with some of the locals and the crowd joining and attacking them. And the magistrates ordered them to be stripped and beaten with rods. After they had been severely flogged, they were thrown into prison and the jailer was commanded to guard them carefully. When he received these orders, he put them in an inner cell and fastened their feet in the stocks. About midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God and, and the other prisoners were listening to them. What kind of faith and hope does it display to even in the midst of being imprisoned to pray and sing praises to God and find joy? And when we're able to do that, even in the midst of bondage, it's a witness for other people. It shows light to other people even in a dark place. We may feel imprisoned and locked away. It may be painful that we can hear birds in the distance and still feel isolated. But God is still with us, even in this place. And will continue to be with us in all the ways that God knows we need. So may we find ways to pray and sing praises to God because it will mean something to those around us. Take care of one another and know that God is with you even in the darkest places. God continues to be with us in Jesus' name. Amen. Talk to you soon.